Bonjour, bonjour, madame et monsieur. Je ne moi Pierre Dubois, and today I am going to be playing Resident Evil 4 again. As you might remember, on the last episode, I got, mm, how would you say, sent to the great bagaria in the sky. But on today's episode of Pierre vs. the Pueblo, I am going to show you what my favorite strategy is to clear this level. Now, if you can kill the chainsaw man, the timer will run out and this segment will finish. So as you can see, I made my way inside the same building from last time with the shotgun to activate the chainsaw man. I grab the shotgun, I do a little bit of work up top just to make sure I can keep myself clear. Knock the ladder down. Grab some ammo. Clear the ranks at this window a little bit. And one reason I like this game is because there is plenty of action and adventure. Right here, I go lay ah! and I'm out the window. Across the way into the building from last time where I got sent to the great bagaria in the sky. Did I already say that? I think I said that. Anyway, knock the lock off of the door. This time when I came in, I decided to check the box and found a little bit of extra shotgun ammo. Now I can plug them with the hot lead of Leon. When they come in the building, I wait for the door to start shaking and then, bow, take some of this. Try to keep the doorway clear with explosives and shotgun shells. Now, one likes to play things on the hard mode because he hates himself and he loves the pain. However, me, I like to try and keep things a little bit open. I like to keep my back to the wall with the open lane in front of me. And I like to use as much heavy ordnance as possible. I put them on the ground and I use my second grenade which does clear quite a bit. Now when the man got blown inside the door, I almost thought he was alive for a second. Thank God, these grenades are so powerful. A little deft maneuver backwards, and I am away from the chainsaw man. That guy thought he was going to butter my croissant, but I did not let him. Now, the chainsaw man still alive. So kick the door again, plug in, and that is how you take care of that. Because once the chainsaw man is dead, well, the level's over. The cutscene plays. They hear the bell in the town square and they're all like, oh, it is time to go to the bagaria. It is time for my midday baguette. Maybe get a croissant. Maybe go hit on the little someone who serves the coffee. Anyway, this has been another episode of Pierre Place. I've had a lot of fun doing this. Yo, Pierre, um, you left a moldy loaf of French bread sitting on my desk, man. It appears once again, Pierre has created a mess for himself, which he has to clean up. So, au revoir, my lovelies.